Okay, welcome to my PE stuff. Uh, today we're looking at gas exchange and pathways of air. So you should have been uh, having a look at this particular uh, slide from your handout. Uh, and you'll notice at the top left hand corner talks about pathways of air. It's really important that you know the order that they're going in uh, from mouth down to alveoli. And then we also know about gas exchange. So how does gas exchange happen and the structure of the alveoli? Uh, how gas exchange at the alve alveoli can be increased? And then what is hemoglobin and the role of hemoglobin? Um, we've just got this um, example question that might come up in your GCSEPE exam to do with gas exchange. Um, so I just want to go through a couple of techniques in terms of uh, understanding what the question demands of us and uh, how best we could uh, possibly use our knowledge that we've learnt from our previous slides uh, in order to get, in this particular question, two marks. So, a um, good little process to start off with is to, to do a couple of things. The first thing um, that's really good to do is to highlight or to underline or circle the topic words. Okay, so we know that our topic words today can be gas exchange, so I'm going to circle that there. And I also know that it's specifically looking at alveoli, so I'm going to circle my two topic words of gas exchange and specifically the alveoli. Uh, next thing that I want to do is I want to look at the command words. So what is this question actually asking me to do? Um, so first of all, I can see that it says that it needs me to outline. Okay, so it needs me to outline. Now this is a really, really sort of tricky question because it asks me to outline how. Okay, so outline how. So I'm going to underline that three times because that's really important. So it asks me to outline how two features of the alveoli assisting gas exchange so two features how that assists it and um, if the question was outlined two features of the alveoli if we were to go back a couple of slides and look at the answers we'd see that one feature that assists with gas exchange could be for example a larger surface area because there's lots of alveoli so that would be outlined a feature However, that's not what the question's asking us to do. Remember, it's asking us to outline how that feature. So if my answer was, first of all, I'm going to outline a, fe a feature, I might put in there that it's got a large surface area. That still hasn't really answered the question as we said. So I then want to say now how that feature will assist in gas exchange. And I know now, based on my knowledge from my previous slide, that having a large surface area will result in a larger volume of gas. So what I've done there, I've just given you an example of one particular answer that might get you one mark in this question. So hopefully that's going to get us a tick and it's going to get us one mark. What I'd like you to do is just pause your video and I want you to have a think, uh, preferably without looking at the answer card, as to another feature that will assist in gas exchange at the alveoli. And then I want you to think about how that feature will assist. So pause your video, have a go at putting in the second example. And then once you've done that, press play, please. Okay, so hopefully you've uh, had a, an attempt. There's an array of different answers which you'll be able to see on your um, on your answer card or your mark scheme card as well. Um, another feature I sort of thought of, which I put in, was that one feature is that it's only one cell thick at gas exchange. So the alveoli and the capillaries are only one cell thick. Okay, so that's another feature that assists with gas exchange. And again, how? This is the important one. How is that going to help? So when it's one cell thick, it creates a short distance for diffusion. So it creates a short distance for diffusion. So I have outlined the feature and I've said how that's going to help short distance for diffusion. 
you might come up with different answers on this one there's a range of different answers that you can provide based on the um, mark scheme and